MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Morris, MTD have known Tamework Holding for a long time, and we've always seen you as an innovator of new products and new technologies, and somebody that's always looking to add maybe a different dimension to people's work holding or their machine shops. Would that be a fair assumption of the company? Uh, I think so, Paul, yeah. We've um, obviously very well known in the UK for producing chuck jaws, and have done that for a long time. You know, I mean, in fact, next year's uh, the 70th anniversary of uh, TAME as a company continuously. So a lot of people have known us and our name is pretty synonymous with uh, Chuck Jaws. But over the years we've brought in other products that we've seen around the world that we thought would add value to companies in their pursuit of looking for uh, improvement in their manufacturing. Initially we moved into doing vacuum work holding which we've done in various uh, disguises through um, big fixtures, small fixtures, um, uh, rotary fixtures. So we've done that with all the operating equipment and, and we're fairly well known for that as well now over the years we've, we've worked in that field. And that's for people that are doing you know, uh, sensitive material or, or uh, very thin material. Uh, we've done some uh, you know, reasonably big applications there and also lots of small applications. And uh, we've also moved into uh, other areas such as uh, clamping on milling machines and we look, you know, we've looked at vices over the years and then eventually we um, got in touch with Lang and we've been with the Lang company now for um, eight years selling their product which is um, a, a major part of our company now. So David, you head up what happens here on the shop floor. Obviously Tame is very well known for its chuck jaws and has been for many years, but you do a lot more than that. What, what's happening in this area? We do an awful lot more, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> here we do make chuck jaws, we make all the tea nuts, we make a number of things and we make a lot of special fixtures as well. Here we have four horizontal machining centres. We can make an amazing amount of stuff, but they are key really making jaws 24-7. Well, with the special fixtures, what's the split? I mean, how, in terms of compared to the jaws and other products, how much, how much special fixture work do you do? These four machines, probably the split there is 85-15. To? 85 for standard products and then 15% for specials. And with the specials, I mean, that can be fixtures for automotive industry, all kinds of anything can it? We are spread across the board, aerospace, automotive, medical, oil, whatever you want. So an engineer would come to you and they'd say I need a special fixture for this particular product, you'd design it, manufacture it, assemble it, supply it, install it, we do the lot. It's a one-stop shop basically. Okay, so this is where the horizontals are yep. and then if we move further down you've got some vertical machining centres. We so have six vertical machines, we're <laughs> which is um, yeah, it's, it, it's a nice complement to these horizontals. And, uh, and again, with the verticals, we've got multi-axes on them and we design our own extra axes where we need them. All right, let's go and have a look. So these are your vertical machining centres. You mentioned additional axes. So what, what are you planning to do then? Take them from three, four axes up to five, six? Four, four and a half, and five and six, yeah, we are modifying these machines to get more out of them. They're fantastic machines, they're very simple, but they need, in this day and age, you need to get more out of them. And to get more unmanned range, yes, we need to put more axes on. So we've designed a couple of different bits and pieces, and we're going to put more automation on them. Because automation is, is a big factor, and what we're about to go and look at really showcases that. So let's go and have a look at the, the automation cell. So this would be the showpiece here of your manufacturing capability, David. It is very impressive. Talk us through what you've got here. 
What we have is a five axis machining center. We have a robot handler, loader, and we have a stacking tower. And that will hold 60 components and on, on each of the devices. And we've got some devices that will actually take three components. So eventually we'll have 180 components on that one tower. And so you can run this completely unmanned? Runs completely unmanned, runs overnight, runs through the weekend. And with it being a five axis machine, then you can do five face machining. So you could almost, what do you do? Do you do five faces and then do a second op to finish the part off? We do a five faces and we break off. We leave a tag generally and then break the part off and just do a finishing linishing op. Everything's engraved, it's virtually finished. There's sometimes heat treatment afterwards but other than that. Okay, so summarise from a manufacturing perspective what this solution has done for Tate. It's done lots of things, but what it really has done is improved the delivery times, it's reduced the number of man hours, it's reduced the number of operations, and it's paid with it itself in nine months. Has it really? Hence the reason you got another Hence one. Hence the reason we bought the second one, a duplicate system. There's exciting times here at Tame, Morris. What does the future hold and what new products have you got coming through? Okay, well at the moment we've, um, we've started a relationship with Sam Chilly um, and they've um, got an enormous range of uh, specialist chucks and standard chucks. So we're looking at sort of bringing those more and more into the market. They also do uh, quite a large range of uh, rotary uh, tables, so uh, sort of fourth axis and fifth axis type work. Um, they've also got uh, steady rests, uh, so we're looking at that sort of product range. And then from a company called Harvey R uh, Spantec, which is another German company, uh, they're looking into more innovative type of products which are new to the market, which is uh, a four jaw compensating power chuck, uh, which is a very good replacement for a, a straightforward three jaw um, power chuck. So we see that growing and uh, they also do uh, some uh, very good um, work holding for um, distortion proofing on, um, on large rings. So starting to get into specialist areas as Especially, well. Especially, yeah. The business, interestingly, you, you distribute other people's products, but you also do manufacturing here, which we've looked at today. It's a nice mix, a lot of manufacturing as well as bringing products in from other companies. Yeah, we think so. It gives us the um, engineering background um, because obviously uh, making our own products, uh, we uh, can sort of look at the idea from, uh, from our perspective of what we think that product would be useful to us. So uh, with the Lang product, we've got, we've got two automation systems in here ourselves in our own factory, as, as, you, as you've seen. Um, and that's a good view, you know, we're looking at it from a user's point of view first to think that that's going to be useful for other people within the industry. Because I think if you were an engineer, you, if, if you had a, a, an, a somewhere where you needed work holding, where you needed tooling up for a job, you could come to TAME and you could provide a solution whether it meant that you manufactured a specialist fixture and incorporated products that you supply within that specialist, you, you've got the best of all worlds. Yeah, we, we do that on um, most years, you know, there's one or two big projects that crop up where it's a big mixture of perhaps, uh, you know, factored products including our own manufactured design products. And, um, you know, often, you know, we can offer a solution that if it was just um, a single company that didn't have the manufacturing, it would be a bit more difficult for them. So it's exciting times for you guys? Yeah, it is exciting times. I mean. Um, you know, we, we've been here a long time, but um, we're always trying to move the company forward. We're always investing in the machine shop now, and um, we're always looking forward to uh, increasing our contact with the customers and, and showing the customers, you know, the type of products that we've got and the benefits that those products can bring. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.